Alright, this is Zombie MVP back with you. Alright, we're gonna go over my build using a barbarian kind of bash bleed build. This is what I'm going with. If y'all have any suggestions or anything, comment down in the comments below. Let me know. I'll try it out. I'm probably gonna look for a bash build or something, but if y'all come up with something better than what I got on, just put it down in the comments. Alright, starting off with uh of course got the bash and I have it maxed out at 5 but I have something that's giving me plus 2 then I have the enhanced bash and then the battle bash of course generates stun with every bash generates an additional 5 fury or 10 fury if using a two handed weapon and I am using a two handed weapon and we go to the core skills I have pressure point maxed out then I'm using Unhavel, up up the Havel, Enhanced, and then the Violet. Then I have, as of right now, Endless Fury, uh, plus one. And we go down to the Defensive. And I have my health maxed out. Then I'm using iron skin. I have it maxed out at 5. Enhanced iron skin. And then I am using strategic iron skin. Then we move on to the brawling. I have that maxed out at 5. Then I have something else that gives me an extra 3 points. So, enhanced war cry, and then I'm using the power war cry. And then I have my swiftness maxed out, so I have the maximum of movement speed. Hopefully. But I could use some more on my boots. And then I'm using rupture to help bleed. And then enhanced rupture, of course, deals 92,000 bleed damage. And then. Fight or rupture, or heals you when you hit someone with it. If you hit someone, then I have thick skin, one on that, and then I have two on counter offense. Then we go down to the ultimate skills, and of course, I'm using Wrath of Berserker, and I have the next two upgrades for my Wrath. Prime Wrath of Berserker, and then the Supreme Wrath of Berserker. Then I'm using Wall, wall Up. I got it at 2. And then Concussion, 2 of 3 as well. And then I have something on me that's giving me Walking Arsenal. An extra boost to it or something like that. Show you them all in just a second. That's what I got. We're going to the head. We're right now got Warlord, Great Helm of the Grotted Sage. I got it masterworked one time as of right now. With added maximum life and lucky hit, up, up to a 21% chance to slow enemies for two seconds. Then on this, I have for the FX, you have an 8% increased dodge chance to socially dodge and restores 12% of your maximum life. And then for the gym, I have skull for 15% healing received. Then going to my chest piece, runic. Mall of Odyssey. 
I have lucky hit up the 20% chance to slow enemies and plus 50% poison resistance. And then for the aspect is when there are at least five close enemies, stun them for three seconds. This can only occur once every 20 seconds. And then I have the amethyst. Two gems in here still ready to know. I got one at max, one at not at the one right before the max. Then I'm using the unique gloves. The central unique. And Gorgers Gauntlets. They get plus 16 all stats, 5 for 0.1 attack speed. 9.2 critical chance, 29.9 basic attack damage, and an additional, and then the, for the aspect, it is doing damaging enemies with non-basic skill, cast, marks them for 3 seconds, when a basic skill first hits, a marked enemy, the basic skill damage is echoed to all marked enemies dealing 170 increased damage. Of course, it is master 3 out of 12. The Muckbringer of Adventures Pants. Then it has, I got added. See, this is where my two basic skills, skill points are coming in at. 38 added fire resistance and then for the aspect it is gain 18 increase 18 percent increased lucky hit chance while all damage bonuses from the walking arsenal he has that's where that comes from my boots I have wind striker echo Egg, egg, Archon, Archon Reeves. Of course, it gives me three maximum fury, uh, maximum evade charges, which is good. Then this does 81% uh, plus 81 strength, 36% lightning resistance. Then a plus three to war cry upgrade. Of course, I could do an upgrade on that. Probably should put another. A fix on there. But then it does critical grant critical strike grant 8.5% movement speed for one second, up to six seconds. Then for my two-handed weapon, horn cajole of the moonrise arc two-handed bulging legending. It is not going to work one time. Then I have added, I re rolled it for strength. But then I have plus 173% damage to close enemies. Then I have Bash Cleaves. Bash Cleaves gives you a lot of damage. Then plus 220.5 damage. Here, uh. Cleaves. Really good. That like increased my, my hitting a lot. Then damaging the enemy with that basic skill grants you 4% attack speed for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Upon reaching maximum stack, you enter a van vampiric blood rage. Gaining 160 basic skill damage and 15% move, movement speed for 10 seconds. And then I have the, the emerald on the max gem to give me 25% critical strike damage. Then right here I've been just playing around with these. I don't know exactly what to put on here. But right now I have impact hammer of surrounded ground. 
of course it, it's max out on critical strike damage and then lucky hit up to uh, uh, lucky hit up, up to a 40% chance to deal 2002 lightning damage every 25 seconds your next uphill Tevel has the guaranteed to overpower and deal 20% increased damage. This timer is reduced by 4 seconds when a Pavel overpowers a boss or an elite enemy. Then I have a gem on here that is the Emerald, giving me more critic, critical strike damage. You want to try to max out your critical strike damage. What I'm getting. What I'm getting so far, I think. What you want to do. So the one is, I don't know about what to put on these two right now. So if I have something that's a little bit off or you want to suggest something down in the comments, go ahead for it. I'll try it out. Then I have this. I haven't re-rolled or anything. Except put the critical strikes with core skills increase your attack speed by 15%. Five seconds. That's what I've only. That's the only thing I've changed. Then I have the rapid demon blade. Uh, has a max strength. Oh, that has a max strength. One thousand five hundred thirty-eight maximum life. An additional plus one twenty over damage over time. That's really good. Then here's here's a really good. One. Just basic skills gain 54 attack speed. That's where I get my attack speed from. Plus 18% strike damage. And then the damage over time. And for these, have the essential unique ring. Ring of the Revenous. To reset the shadow and resist to all. Then this also gives me. Critical strike, vulnerable damage, damage to bleeding enemies, which works good for the bleed build and for the um, bash. Now I'm using bash bleed. Plus one to brawling skills. So I got an extra one. Ran duration is increased by 2.8 seconds. Damage to enemies with the brawling skills applies two stacks of ran bleed. This can only affect enemies once every 4 seconds, and then I have the resist all 8%. I need these unique, or essential unique items, you cannot do anything to but master with them. Can't change any affixes or anything. What I don't really like about them. Well, wish you could change them, because sometimes it would be better. I think. The same thing here, the mother's embrace. Got all that, and then the core, if a core skill hits four or more enemies, 30% of resource cost is refunded. That's why I got that on there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just if the core skill hits four or more enemies, it's really not good for bosses, it's good for like herds of enemies. And then I have the plus six resist to all elements. Then to tap out my fire, on this one I have the 33% fire resistance. But then I have the plus lightning resistance, 41%. And it is automatically maxed out on its fury and its damage, which is good. And it gives you plus 21.3 resist elements. The lucky hit up to 35% chance to gain 1.6 fortify whenever you deal direct damage while the sun. That is good. Now, this is what I got my stuff right here at. That's maxed out. Lightning is maxed out. Cold is only at 11.7, so if I get hit by cold, then I'm gonna. Poison resistance maxed out and then shadow. But yes, what I'm working with. And 
and then right now I am using this. This one's for two-handed base expertise. When using two-handed base, lucky hit to 10% chance to gain five fury when hitting an enemy. Double the amount of fury gained while berserking. You deal 15% increased critical strike damage while berserking. All right, I am up to a tier two right now. So it's so low. Let's see. Here. Yeah, well, they played the tier one to get some stops up. Oh, great, some low armor. Let's go tier two. Okay, we got. Over my health, I can still make it. one did not die I already died once he touched his skin and then bow sit down I'm not ready help go up whoa watch out buddies watch out sit down Time to do that. Need time to do that. Sit down. Oh, yeah. Come on. Pop it up right here. Oh, almost there. I need more time. A little bit more. This, I 
need more time. Smash. Um, yeah. Got him right there. Complete. But then I don't even know how many minutes. For luck. But that is it. And we will catch y'all on the next one. When you can just sugar, leave everything in a download in the comments. Like, subscribe. You have it. And we'll be back for the next one.